Welcome back to my workshop, guys. You see my shed, I know. I didn't expect to be having to do this Jalea again, but um, I've had to, actually. Um, she was cruising along 45, 50 miles an hour, and she just started getting splattering and splattering, so I wasn't happy. So I've took the reeds off. Something you don't often get to see is these reeds. Look how good they are. These are twin ones, um, different than speed fight, as you can tell. I've done speed fight ones before, but they are quite good. You do need a specialist tool to get these off. Star shaped with a little dot in the middle. So you need ones like this here, okay? Here's something you don't often get to see though, guys. Look at that. That is a working barrel. Now, can you see the shine at the bottom? Can you see that? Wobble it around a bit. That's petrol. That's unburnt petrol. That's not supposed to be in there. And then if you look very closely at the bottom of the piston, I'll tell you what, can you see that? That looks scored. It is, isn't it? Look at that. That's not good. Now that means it's been scratching like a bitch. So, damage done, basically. So, possibly, when the oil wasn't 100% on there, and it wasn't getting through, I reckon that it scratched it and scored it. So now, I've got to take the whole head off. So, yes, it will run. Yes, I could say it's all well and good, but I wouldn't be happy. It wouldn't last. So it looks like I've got to get another piston, put another piston in there, oil it up, and see what the problem is. I'm have to change the head on this one, big ends, the whole crank, I don't know. But there you go. It just shows that sometimes, and I like that picture, it's not something you can often get to see, if I'm really, really honest with you. That's not a picture you often get to see. Um, and I probably zoomed in too much on my head a minute ago, didn't I? But never mind. That's not a picture you actually get to see much, but I can really see. That's a really cool picture, actually. A piston working round and round and round. But you can see how there's too much fluid in there. That's what's wrong with that. So it isn't running right. Um, maybe now I'm not so zoomed in, eh? Um, yeah, it's not running right. I thought it was when I wired in my lights. Do you remember I told you I had to wire them all in? And they're working really well now. I don't thought it might have been the CDI unit, but I had another one of them. On these models, the CDI unit and the um, coil is all in one. I think we've got it here. Da, 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 da. There you go. That's it there. Um, CDI unit and coil, all right? Um, DNAs, Jalera's, um, Aprilia's, they all do these sort of ones, Italian sort of ones, where the other ones are generally a single coil like that. Um, and then, obviously... You get these CDI units like that one there, the single CDI unit. Um, actually, it's not a bad little show, actually. There you go. That is a eight pin um, CDI unit, oil unit. That's a six pin CDI oil unit. That is the ordinary cheapy, cheapy one. And you've got another great bigger, a bigger one for speed fights. Enough about speed fights, because I'm not doing speed fights today, but that was the basics. So there you go. I've got to take it all apart again. And that's that's the thing about doing bikes, you know. I think that's the crazy thing when you buy a bike, that you may end up getting it all running, but it's not running right, and you've got to take it all apart again. All the panels will come off. Well, I don't, but, you know, I'm lucky I can get to the engine this way. But I've got to take it all again. So it just proves that you, you don't always get it right. So far, I've had it running. Yay me, then the electrical problem with the lights, and then yay me again, I've had it running, and it's just not good enough. So what I think I've got now is obviously a problem with the piston that is scored and it's not firing right. So it'll run, but not firing right. And it was red hot the other day when I had it running. And um, I think I've showed you this before. Do not burn your leg. Yeah, it hurts. It really hurts. <laughs> I put it on the stand and I just touch my leg against the exhaust. So uh, yeah, don't do that. You, the skin came off straight away. You have to let it weep. Uh, it's been a week now since I did that. Um, and I've just got to keep it, try and keep it clean now. Anyway, there you go, bloody Jalera DNA. It will run, it will live, and I'll do another part showing you me zooming up and down the road one day. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe. There's a link on the bottom right-hand side. If you just click on that, you get all my other videos. There's lots of parts to this Jalera. She looks the nuts. She's just not running properly. So, there you go. The speed fight ones and all other sorts of ones. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.